What is going on guys? Um, really quick before I begin, I just want to give a quick shout out uh, to one of my loyal subscribers by the name of uh, Dexter Morgan. But yeah, I just got to give a quick shout out to this guy because he's always on top of Ghost Recon News. He's always giving me heads up uh, as far as what's coming. He gave me, he literally told me about f like three minutes after the trailer dropped on Tuesday uh, that it dropped. And I didn't even fucking know. This guy's always on top of his shit. He's always... Uh, filling up my chat feed on my live streams. If you guys uh, follow, uh, come to my live streams, you're definitely going to see him. And just a, a really quick shout out to him because he's an awesome uh, supporter. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, let's talk about the stalker. Uh, I, I was going to, you know, I kind of wanted to do a whole uh, uh, update. I kind of wanted to do a, a video about the whole update, but you know, I, I figure let's uh, let's break it up into pieces. Might be a little bit better. The only reason I wanted to do it all together was because my whole uh, uh, opinion about the update is kind of like, eh. Let's talk about the stalker. You know, in, in heart and spirit, this is a Wildlands Tips video. It's going to go into my Wildlands Tips one. But I didn't think that would be an appropriate title. Let's, uh... So here's my initial reaction. I played with Stalker for a few rounds. I was fucking pissed. I'm gonna be honest with you. I was so pissed. Like, why the hell does he have a bolt-action rifle that doesn't kill in one hit unless you get a headshot? Plus, that shotgun is dog shit. When you're up close and personal, you, it can take up to four fucking hits to kill somebody. If they're an assault class, it can definitely take four hits if you don't get a headshot. Um, and it, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, to say the least, it is a lot of fun because it's something different. It's a new, you know, uh, you don't you don't play with a lot of shotguns in this game, and it is something different. Now, after I played with him for a while, I started to realize, you know what? He's actually kind of a fun character. You just have to know what to expect, and what you and you can't expect too fucking much. So he carries around the SRSA-1, I believe it is, and that's a bolt-action rifle that, that doesn't kill in one hit. Oh my god. At first I was like, you know, why don't they just give him a fuck the one-hit capability? Or just make it a semi-auto. And then, you know, I think that would be a lot better for the character. Uh, because, to be honest with you, I'm sitting there, when I first picked them up, I'm, I'm playing from a sniping distance, and the, the bullet drop is absolutely terrible, it's horrible, and uh, it's you can't kill people, it's so hard to get a headshot from a distance, you have to be right up close to personal, so how I kind of think of it is, I, I, I just treat it like a rifle, and I, you know, I play medium to close range with this thing, and then I have the shotgun if people get close, it's just so weird, because... His ability is, you know, you can't, he can't see the sound markers from him because he has a suppressed sniper. You, you can't see his sound markers uh, if, if he's really far away, but if he's up close, you can. Um, I'm not sure about the cutoff there. And then also, you know, he can mark people without you knowing him. Um, the marking ability is kind of a little bit of a, a, a wishy-washy one for me. I, I like it. Sometimes other times I don't like it because sometimes I like people to be marked, especially like I want them to know that I marked them because if, if someone's running, for instance, and then they run behind cover and I mark them, I know their movement pattern's about to change because they just got marked, especially if they ran behind cover, they might retreat or something. It'll open them up for another shot. Um, rather, when they don't know they're marked, it's good for sneaking up on people. Um, but other than that, eh, eh. I had a hard time figuring out the difference between stalker and pathfinder i'm about to blow your mind for a second they're almost the same fucking character even the weapon handles the same even their main weapon handles the same the bullet drop on the srsa one is terrible um you can actually see the bullet fucking flying it looks it looks like you're shooting a crossbow that's lit up um you know you're suppressed uh, uh you're suppressed at distance so nobody can see your sound markers except with pathfinder you can't see it at all you both have a close range weapon as your secondary the only difference is the passive ability where you mark people and they don't know that you mark them that's the only difference but you can turn your auto mark off with pathfinder and you're gonna know where people are at generally the only reason the auto mark or the the uh, marking without them knowing is really good is is for teammates uh, who are moving up on them so then they don't there they might let their guard down or something like that but my my issue with that is if your teammate is moving up on somebody and you mark them uh and if they're moving it's more likely that they're going to be in an open space to see your teammate when he comes up on them or if he's behind cover why don't you just take the fucking shot you see what i'm saying like why don't why don't i just kill him 
if I can see him and mark him without him knowing. The only thing is if he's running between obstacles and I and I don't know. Uh, that's good intel for your team. It is. It is. Um, but at the same time, you know, recon's a huge thing in this game, man. And if you're going to be running Stalker, I'd almost certainly run a tech with it because if you are going to be marking people, you don't want other people to mark your team and figure out where you're at. Because if you're going to mark people without them being aware, you don't want them moving into position and they already know where your team's at. Um, so if they even mark you, it's like, who fucking cares? You know what I mean? Because if you have two teams that are pitted front on the front line and you each mark each other, you, you, you already know where everybody's at without that mark. I mean, let's just be honest here. You can see people... Um, even if you get the mark really early in the game, you don't get it for another 30 seconds. You already know uh, about where people are at. Um, so the enemy team knows where you're at. You know where they're at. So what what what, what purpose does the fucking mark serve? Um, I just I, I I find this class it's fun. It's fun. Don't get me wrong, but there are there are definitely better alternatives. I can't find a reason to play this class over a Pathfinder. Pathfinder, you're stealthy. You can't be heard. You can walk over mines, no problem. Uh, you know, speaking of which, it made it so you could defuse mines. That, uh, whatever, man. It's what it is. I, I'll, I'll discuss that in another video because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too fond of that. But, uh, so I, I, I can't find a reason to play Stalker over Pathfinder. I, I, I simply can't. It's as difficult to shoot people with it. Um, Pathfinder puts the fear of God into people. You know, when a Stalker shoots me, I don't give a flying fuck. He shoots me, and I'm sitting there like, okay, bitch, let's go. And I, I'll challenge him. That's that's what I do because I, I know that rifle ain't shit. I know he's not going to probably, he's probably not going to kill me one hit. And the Pathfinder in, a, in another uh, uh, token is uh, you don't know where he's at. He can get really up close and personal. You won't be able to hear him, and he could fuck you up. He can walk over your minds. Uh, Pathfinder puts the fear of God into people, and Stalker doesn't do shit. I'm really disappointed. If they made his rifle either a one-hit kill or a semi-auto, I don't, I don't care, one of those options, then uh, I feel like he would be he would be a good class. I feel like he would be viable. He was he is my favorite class of the new ones that come out. I really don't like Trapper. I think he's just a sentinel fucking rehash. Um, Gorilla is uh, seems a little underwhelming at the moment, I think. I need to play around with the smoke a little bit more, but I'm using it a lot, and I'm just... It is fun. It's fun. I'll, I'll give it that. It's fun. I'm just trying to think of a reason... To use the smoke over over a mortar, um, I, I, I'm trying to think, and it's hard. But uh, please let me guys let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Of course, I am going to be doing you know these videos for all of the new classes, and just in case uh, you guys were wondering, I did get my chest set, and I will be busting out that formations video uh, here soon. But uh, because of the new update, I, I am kind of holding back on that a little bit just so I can get all this content out and uh, really, really flush it out a little bit more. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and uh, please drop a like. That's how you can support the channel. Um, and I will go ahead and I will see you in the next video. In the next video.